Indianapolis Colts, Philadelphia Eagles, and New England Patriots over the course of his 10-year NFL career. Now a co-host of Sports Nola TV, WHNO Channel 20, every Monday night at 6 p.m. He does a great job in that capacity, too, in trying to hold me up, along with Ricky Jackson and Brian Alley Walsh. Please give a warm quarterback club welcome to Torrance Small, the New Orleans Saints. Torrance? How are you guys doing this evening? Ken made me step up here. I haven't stepped that high since playing. <laughs> but uh, Saints, do your job. It's a big difference when the coach is there, isn't it? <laughs> big difference than a big poster sitting in the, you know, on the field telling you to do your job. I, I think they had a great game, great game, great ga uh, game plan, and did a lot of things that were unexpected. I'm, I'm pretty sure we all had our eye on the defense to see how they were going to turn out. But it's uh, three things why the Saints won, won the game. And, Coach, I'm pretty sure you can appreciate this right here. Those three areas, third down conversion. The Saints, the defense, they got off the field. Offense kept the ball. They kept the drive alive. Turnovers. We won a turnover battle. That was the thing that we won. We got uh, a couple turnovers. The one at the end was the biggest one. Um, the one Julio, we got the fumble from him on that one. Big plays right there. They uh, make the difference in the game. The last they took, they, they won, they had um, the least amount of penalties than we did. But if you look at those three areas, when you're looking at ball games, take a look at those three right there. Pretty much they'll determine who's going to win a game, who's going to lose a game. I don't care what team you play for, for the most part, from high school on up, they all talk about third down, uh, third down conversion, getting, on the field, getting off the field and keeping the drive live, penalties, uh, and turnovers. Those are the keys to, to winning games. But offense, let's look at the offense, what the Saints did. One thing they done, and I was very uh, surprised, was it was pretty, pretty ba um, balanced. Balanced team there. 35 passes, 29 runs. Wasn't as effective on the run as we want to. Only average about two point yards on the run. I think they had 29 carries for about 78 yards. Didn't, didn't do as well, uh, wasn't as effective on the run, but we kept them on us. We kept them on us, and uh, we, threw, we threw the ball exceptionally well. Uh, receivers done a great job as usual. Uh, great to see Coaston come back. He didn't play much in the preseason. He did well. Graham had a few catches. We targeted him a lot, uh, a couple of times in, in the game. Moore didn't do much, but he always comes up big when he does get his opportunity to shine. He did great. Um, for us, the running game, I think we, uh, we, we, did, we did pretty well. Like I said, it wasn't effective. Um, Ingram, I think uh, when, he, when he comes in, it seems like they pretty much know what he's going to do. You know, they, it seems like they key on him. Um, when his plays come in, I kind of call him the first couple of ones. He's coming in. He's going to run. He'll pick up two, three yards. And after that, they like to use play action and like to roll back to the other side. I hope that's something that will change. If I'm picking it up, I'm pretty sure the other teams are picking it up too. So hopefully we change. <laughs> that's something that we will change. Drew, I think, had a great game, um, 300 and some yards, uh, very efficient. With his passing, um, we kept the chains moving. Uh, Coach Payton, I think, did a great job with the play calling. Um, great, great job on that. Um, defense. Let's talk about the defense. That's our big surprise here. Because the thing is, is what was Rob Ryan going to bring to this defense? What was he going to do to make us better than what we were last year? One, he just showed up in the office. Just the changing of the scheme helped us out. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's just that. The talent that we have on this team fits better for his scheme than what we had last year with uh, uh, Coach Spags. So, they, they, but the one thing I say about this team, I, I coming into this this year, I wonder about the defense, and I always said that the scheme was going to be better than the talent. But one thing I saw yesterday was a team that played collectively. There's nobody, there wasn't nobody outstanding, really. And I don't think we're going to have too many outstanding players this year on this defense where somebody's just going to show up with big numbers. But I will say, and just looking, I'm hoping that it, this carries over that this team continue to play collectively on defense. And that's something they did. We put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. We, we rushed Ryan. They put a lot of that. We got three sacks on him, but that doesn't say the, the, the pressure that we put on him. Got a little late hit on them, but um, at least we made them feel it, you know. 
And they can't say it was a bounty thing. We had a new guy. It was a young guy that hit him. So they can't add that to the bounty. Um, it, it, it was good, 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 good football hit, but late, but a good football hit. That's part of the game. I think the guys did well. We got a couple of turnovers. That's another thing that they're great. They got off the field when they had to. We, we bent a little bit, but we just didn't break. You know, those guys just didn't break. And I thought that was uh, great by them. I think Rob Ryan giving us the thing. We do have some, some type of little attitude. I, I see the defense was aggressive. It was aggressive. Um, the one thing I didn't like, uh, we had a lot of little extra pushing at the end. I hate to get a cheap penalty at the end, but the defense uh, was very aggressive. Um, special teams, partly. Uh, Morstead, they did their jobs. Uh, he kicked field goals. Morstead had six kickoffs, all uh, touchbacks. Uh, didn't give him an opportunity to run. I think he averaged about 42 yards on his punts, which was great. Um, keep doing those those type of things. You know, special teams is a big part of the game, and I, I hope those guys, you know, keep kicking field goals, keep putting them um, back in the end zone where we don't give them opportunity to run. I think we can work a little bit better on our returns. I think we can do a little better on our kickoff returns and a little bit on our punt return. I think uh, blocking schemes or whatever we need to do, but I think that's something we need to work on a little more. Coming up, we have uh, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is coming to town after a tough loss. They lost in 38 seconds at the end to the Jets. Uh, rookie quarterback got them. Um, here's a team that, that uh, improved defensively. And, and defensively, they improved for us. The defensive back, they got another safety. They drafted and, and added a few corners. Um, so they're, they're much better in the defensive backfield, that is. Up front, they're pretty much the same, I think. Um, they didn't get much pressure on the quarterback. Um, last year, I don't think they'll do, do much this year. Uh, Freeman, the, the ultimate thing for Tampa is if Freeman does well, Tampa does well. And uh, with the, the way the defense played this, this week, if we can come back and match it or improve, I think we have a great chance of uh, winning this game as well. Um, stopping the little guy, they got Martin, is a very good run. They have a very good running back. I think we have to tie in on him. Speaking of defense, defense did well on the run as well against um, uh, Atlanta. They did a great job against the run. I thought we did exceptionally well. Uh, we didn't let the big running back go. I can't think of his name right now. Too many concussions. What is his name? Steven Jackson. Yes, that's why we got the lawsuit, guys. It was concussions, too many hits. It's kind of hard to remember some things sometimes. But <laughs> Steven Jackson, we didn't let him go. He got a, he got a screen on us. He got, a, he got one play. But they did great, and they're going to have to do it again this weekend because uh, Martin is a pretty good running back, and I think that's something we're going to have to uh, definitely uh, – Keep him down and force Freeman to beat us. Uh, defensive backs did great, and, and I look forward to the Saints improving off this this win here. I, 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 I was kind of skeptical. I was very skeptical of the defense. I don't know about you guys, but being honest, I'm just skeptical about the defense. But looking at it, I think we're a great, we could be a great defensive team if we play collectively. We might not be as talent-wise, but collectively, all together, I think we could be a, a great team. But um, that's, that's my take on them um, so far. Um, long season, let's not, you know, jump up and down. It's, it, it's only one game, um, but it was a good game. It was a good win. It was against a, a, a conference, a divisional opponent, which is always important. And we're going to take it and, and hopefully uh, have many more. But I'll be taking any questions right now. Our team or, or in the league? Still, our, our, I can compare Steels to, um, you remind me a little bit of um, Joe Horn. I said he reminded me of Joe Horn. This is a guy that can play inside. This young guy, he can play inside, he can play outside. He's kind of scrappy. Not a real, uh, they say he's pretty fast. Didn't, didn't look like it there to me a little bit. But, but uh, great, good speed, um, making make the tough catches. Uh, very confidence in himself. Have, has great confidence in himself. Remind me a little bit of Joe Horn. Toon, Toon is. Um, I don't see him more uh, uh, able to play in the inside. I see him more as an outside receiver, but more of a possession. He he, he remind me a little bit of of Colston, but doesn't have that that um, that feel or that that neck to play inside. To play inside to know to know where those linebackers are and know where everybody is on the field. But he's another young guy that's, that's uh, 
receiver wise and 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 offensive line, Saints have been gold there. They've been gold when they pick up young guys and, and replacing guys in, in those two um, positions. They've been gold in, in those two positions. Any other questions? I just wanted, uh, Colson obviously had a great game, but being a receiver, the one blemish we had was, was a pass to Colson and kind of hit him right here. And Atlanta's DB came and ripped, I don't know if he ripped it out of his hands yes. or or he just reached out and grabbed before he got there. Mm -hmm. I guess my thought is when you're going back to the sideline as a receiver on a play like that, obviously Breeze is thinking, hey, I threw it a little bit behind you. But from a receiver standpoint, you're feeling like I should. Maybe I didn't see that guy coming. Well, you, 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 like, you like to bring anything that comes to you, you want to bring in because you don't get many come to you sometimes. So if it comes your way, regardless how it comes, you know, regardless of where it is, if you have an opportunity to bring it in, you want to bring it in. And if you come to the sideline and the quarterback says it's his fault, you just keep walking. You, just, <laughs> you, know, you don't tell him, say, you, you're right. You just keep walking. <laughs> you let him take that one. <laughs> Any other questions? So early in the season, I mean, how's he not in shape already? I, that's not wind, that's speed. <laughs> that, well, well, you know, some some guys some guys are are short endurance runners, and some are long. And I advise him to work on his long endurance run when he's when he's training. And uh, you know, we had different days when they used to train back in my days. On Tuesday was our short endurance run. So we run anything from 100 on down was called short endurance. And we train, we train on Mondays for that. Fridays was our long endurance run. Was anything 100 on, on up. So when you have those shorter runs like that, you, you, you run, but you have to recover quick and do it again. And um, I just think he needs to work on, on, on his uh, long endurance run uh, so he can Help, help himself with his win a little bit. Any other questions? Torrance, how's, how's, how's your alma mater doing this year? You would ask me that question out the Mississippi State. <laughs> uh, uh, not the all. I can say, but we do appreciate the 300000 they gave us for playing. I went to Alcorn State University, and we played Mississippi State, as you know, small school. Uh, went up there, and they, they, they blew us out. They handed to us, what, 55 to 7? Yeah, so trike that from 300,000. I think we came out even. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, and they had, well, the one good thing that came out of there, one of the um, local boys from Rumble was up there, quarterback. He played the whole second half, and he had a good game. So we're, we're, we're happy for that. I, I sent word and told him, you know, lay off him. He said, hands off that guy there. Let him have a good game. But uh, appreciate you guys today. Y'all have a good evening. <laughs>